Good afternoon class, welcome back to another one of my Denizen scripting tutorials. Today we are going to be covering... Crap. Today we are going to be covering your first quest. How exciting is that? So, uh, before we get started, as always, make sure to check out my Discord. Lots of cool people in there, lots of good stuff going on, a lot of information you can learn simply by looking around. It's really, really cool the way that works. So, you don't even need to be in my classroom. It's almost like reading a textbook, but way more interesting and interactive and it's real people not just pages on a paper that's what i meant to say yeah so <laughs> anyway check out my discord lots of really good stuff in there uh but without further ado let's go ahead and get started so today um i'm gonna go ahead and start off by saying i'm actually going to make this into kind of a sub tutorial of classes or classes yeah tutorial mm. i'm gonna make this a playlist of tutorials uh, because there's actually so many different ways you can make quests that, you know, obviously it's impossible for me to cover it all because what the player can imagine uh, can sometimes be beyond what I can even think possible. So, uh, you are not limited to certain types of quests. You're only limited to what you are, uh, what you know how to do. But of course, that's why you're here to learn. So, let's go ahead and get back out there. So let's go ahead and pick up where we left off last time. So we're gonna go ahead and spawn in our guy again because I decided to remove him. Uh, NPC create new um, NPC assignment set um, new flag assignment because that's that's what we're gonna roll with. It was just it was easy if you already have that file. So we're gonna go back into our files, which this is definitely not my file. Hold on a second. We are going to go back into our files and we're going to go into our scripts and we are going to go um we can do flag tutorial uh yeah let's just go and do that so we're actually going to change this up a little bit because we're going to use everything we used here but we're going to kind of rewrite it in a way so what we're going to do is so we know this is step one so what we're going to do we're gonna move this down a little bit just to give ourselves a little bit of space and we're gonna hit enter here where we had flag player lawnmower and then we're gonna we need to line up and make sure we're lined up with our number here I personally don't know an easy way to do so with um, notepad plus plus but if anybody does please make sure to leave it down in the comments the only way I can think of is just pretty much pressing enter going before the number and just going all the way down until you're there but if there's another way to do it, please, like I said, let me know. Let everybody else know. You could be the uh, class hero of scripting. <laughs> so, anyway, so what we need to do is we need to set a uh, command here. We're going to call it, or actually, we're not going to call it. It's called zap. Zap pretty much means it's going to, um, it's going to advance the script to whatever step you specify. Here we need to set it to two because otherwise, well, we already we already have one. So if we do one, we're just going to be repeating this. And if we did, well, then we wouldn't even need this in the first place. So now we're going to go down here. We're going to type two. We're going to do click trigger script. Now here's where we're going to play around with the if command again. So let's move this back up a little bit. I didn't need that much space. So we're going to type in uh, space space if player dot flag lawnmower is um, greater than or equal to we're gonna do five because we're gonna fix that value like we had at uh, five last time so uh, if player flag value equals lawnmower narrate um, good job and thank you so much and then we're gonna do a thing where we type zap three and we're just gonna leave it at that. Then we need to add the else command. Else will always go based off what the if command directly above it is. So say if I had an if here, if I added another if like right here, else would only account for this one. So. Uh, just a little tidbit of information. I will go over if and else commands uh, in another tutorial. They're, they're, they're super easy. I know all of you will pick it up, no problem. So, for the time being, you can just go based off of this. We're going to type in narrate you need to break more grass. 
Okay, so if our flag is does not equal five or higher, he is not going to say this. However, if it or if it is equal to five or higher, it's gonna he is gonna say this. He's gonna zap us to step three. If not, he is going to do this. Now, one important thing to do before you ever add a zap step, unless you're doing all of this in one take, do not add zap because you need to make sure this works to begin with. Um, if you do zap three and you don't have a step three, then your script is just going to be utterly and forever stuck, um, stuck there until you add a three. Or if you never do add three, then your players will never pretty much be able to do anything with this uh, after this point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna EX reload. Okay, we're gonna talk to him. Hey, go break some grass for me. Okay, so far so good. Uh, we need to go back into our file because I forgot to do something. Um, so we're gonna go and delete these and we're gonna just uncheck the flag player lawnmower. Uh, and we're gonna switch that back to a value of one. Uh, one thing you can do if this confuses you, you can do just one like that. However, if it's just, I got used to doing it the way it was designed, which was just plus plus, so. But you can do either way, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna go ahead and save, reload. And now what we can do is Let's, uh, let me flag myself just to make sure. Um, player, lawnmower, there we go. Okay, just to be safe. So, let's go ahead and flag ourselves with that. We need to break more grass. He is acting a little bit quickly. Um, that is right. So, because we already in, uh, advanced in the script, he's already saying this. Um, so you most likely will run across this issue when just kind of debugging. Uh, a good way to go back to it is just go to where the else command is and just type zap one. That'll take us back to step one so that way whenever we unflag ourselves we'll be able to actually, you know, check it out again. So we're gonna EX reload. Uh, we're gonna right click him. Okay, he's gonna say his line and he's gonna zap us back to step one. So now we're gonna unflag ourselves. And now if we right click, he should say, hey, break some grass for me. Okay, so now we know we're in the right place. Before we get started, it's very important to uncheck that zap there. This is pretty much just a quick debug thing and a good way to keep up with the maintenance. But if we do that, EX reload and we right click him, you need to break more grass. And if we keep right clicking him, he is going to say that until we break at least five grass blocks. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why I'm having a little bit of internal lag, but five, okay. So now if we right click him, good job and thank you so much. Now he's going to com uh, continue to say that but here's a cool part. I want to pick up where I left off the flag tutorial because it was pretty lengthy. What if you want to make it a simple repeatable quest? Well, what we are going to do is we are going to type, um, we're going to do a few things here. So we're going to uncheck zap one and we're actually going to, we're going to get rid of zap three here. We don't need that. We're only going to do a two part right now. Um, so what we're going to do is one thing I want to let you guys know Flags actually have, or can have, dur uh, durations. So uh, let's get rid of zap one right here because I just deleted the wrong one. We actually need it to be in the if uh, if section. So zap one. Now one thing, one way you can tell if it's in the correct spot, if you click this little minus here, everything will be minimized under if, but this will still show. Um, if it's incorrect, you will probably see something like this, where if doesn't have its own subsection. It definitely needs to, and even though this looks right, you need to make sure everything is correctly spaced, because otherwise it's going to count zap as a condition under narrate, which is literally impossible. You cannot have this as a condition because it's a command. Oops. So, we're going to do that. Now then, we're going to add a flag here. So we're gonna do flag player 
Oops. Player. We don't actually have to do the brackets like we do uh, in the command. In this one, it just assumes that the player that activated it is the one who did it. Um, or is the one getting flagged. So, um, we're going to do quest CD. And then we're just going to type duration um, 5S. Okay. So now, um, now we have a duration to it for five seconds. I want to let you guys know that you can actually do different things for it. You can do um, minute M for minutes, H for hours, D for days, um, W for weeks, I think MO for months, or you might just have to do months, um, and then Y for year. You can go all the way up to years if you want to. Of course, there's no need, there's no reason for that. You know, there, I, most servers don't really survive that long, let alone, um, you know, a single quest. So, um, you are just going to do five seconds. If you do not specify, it's going to go ahead and assume that it is going to be in seconds, but it's best to just add it anyway. So if we do that, we're going to add a new thing up here, uh, by the click trigger and we're going to add if and else commands. So if player dot has flag, um, Quest CD. We can do narrate. You must wait a little longer before redoing this quest. Wow, I still can't type. Okay. And then now we can do else. And then we can just give everything down here two spaces to throw it under the else command. Or condition. So now, um, if we finish it, he's gonna zap us back to one, and we're gonna right click him in kind of quick succession so that way we can see this message and you can kind of see how it works. Reload. Good job and thank you so much. We're right clicking him. You must wait a little longer before redoing this quest. Give it about a few seconds. We only specified five. This should be good now. Hey, break some grass for me. Okay. So that means our flag here was done. So one thing I want to show you guys is how do we know how much longer we have left? So what we're going to do, um, we're going to flag ourselves real quick. Just a random flag, doesn't even matter. X flag player um, test flag duration 30s. Okay. So we just flagged ourselves with the test flag for 30 seconds. Now what we can do is type ex narrate player dot flag test flag dot expiration. So here it'll tell us D at duration at 12.5 seconds, 6.999, so on and so forth. Uh, if you want to make it look better, you can type dot formatted. Generally doesn't or format number, sorry, no? Huh, okay, so you used to be able to do formatted for that, but it doesn't seem to be working for me now. Uh, either that or the flag right now, let's see. Format, formatted, yeah, there we go, okay. So, so long as you have the flag active, if you type dot formatted, it'll just say 20, or it'll, it'll give you the number with as, long, as well as the uh, letter that it corresponds to. So we're gonna keep doing this, and this, and that. And that, and that. <laughs> I'm tired of doing one of those. We're just gonna run around for a moment. Three, one, zero point three. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so pretty much when you don't have the flag anymore, you're gonna come up with this when typing the narration. That means you no longer have the flag. Um, duration does not mean value. That's one thing I want you guys to know. It does not at all mean value. We're going to actually bump this up to 15 seconds. Um, so, uh, whenever the 15 seconds are up, this flag literally deletes itself from your flags. Like, it's gone. As if you... It's literally the same as EX flag, you know, player test flag that. Wow. Yeah, if I could type test flag that. So, basically, we're going to go back and we're going to give it one more go. So, we're going to right click. Um, we're going to assume he actually went through this part already. We're going to break our grass. 
one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna right click him. Good job and thank you so much. We're gonna right click him again. Bam, you must wait a little bit longer before redoing this quest. And that, ladies and gentlemen, oh, hello there. <laughs> oh, hello, camera shy, okay. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much how you make a very basic quest using Denizen. Uh, it's super, super duper easy. It's just a few parts. It's literally flagging, using a listener, and using if and else commands. And of course, having an NPC. But that's that's all there is to it. It's too easy. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in my Discord channel. Link will be in the description below. Lots of people in there willing to help out, including myself and several others who are actually way more talented at it than I am. So hopefully, you know, you can get better clarity from them than you can from me. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Class dismissed.